Hey guys, this is CJ with Levy Security, and in this video, I will be going over additional setup options for your NVR. Before starting the setup, please be sure your NVR is connected to your router slash modem by an Ethernet cable. This video will cover the following. Remote viewing, P2P, mobile viewing, email notification, and push notification. Remote viewing, P2P. To set up remote viewing on your smartphone, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the main menu by hovering the mouse over the top of the screen and clicking on the menu button. Step 2. Click on the configuration icon, then click on the network option. Step 3. In the network configuration menu, Make sure the Enable DHCP box is checked. Step 4. Then click on DDNS at the top. Make sure that the Enable DDNS box is not checked. Step 5. Then click on Platform Access at the top. Make sure the Enable box is checked. and make sure the enable stream encryption is not checked. At the bottom, make sure your status says online. If your status does not say online, right click back to the main menu and click on the shutdown icon and click on the reboot option. Once the system restarts, check the status under the platform access section. Step 6. On your smartphone, download the LeviewNet app from the App Store. Step 7. Open the LeviewNet app. Click on the menu icon, then tap LeView P2P. Step 8. In LeView P2P, click Register. Step 9. Enter your email address and verification picture seen in color. The verification picture will be on the right hand side of the verification code field. You can tap on the picture to generate a new code if you cannot read the one given. Tap Get Verification Code once you have entered in all fields. An email with a verification code will be sent to the email address you provided. Create a username and password after entering your verification code. Step 10. Log in using the email or username and password you just created. Enable auto login. Step 11. Tap the plus icon to add a device to the account. Step 12. Scan the QR code on the top of the system. Note, if your system is difficult to get to, or you do not have the QR code sticker, tap on the manual add icon at the top right. Go into the MVR's menu to get the 9-bit serial number. Go to the main menu, maintenance, and system info. In that menu, your serial number is stored here. You will only need to enter the last 9 numbers of the serial number. Do not include any letters. Once you have entered the serial number into the phone app, click search and proceed to step 13. Step 13. Tap the plus symbol to add your system. Step 14. Enter the verification code found in main menu, maintenance, system info, and it will be the verification code.
If you cannot find it within the menu, the verification code should be on the label of your NVR, located either on the bottom or side of your NVR. Step 15. Tap on the newly added device. Step 16. Press Live View at the bottom. Email Notifications To set up email notifications to be sent to you when motion is detected, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the main menu by hovering the mouse over the top of the screen and clicking on the menu button. Step 2. Click on the configuration icon, then click the network option. Step 3. Then click on the email tab at the top. Step 4. Next, find the outgoing SMTP settings for your email service. Your settings should look like this. Enable server authentication checked. Username, this will be your email address. Password, this will be the password for your email, as if you were logging into your email account. SMTP, outgoing SMTP address for your email service. Enable SSL slash TLS checked. Sender. Sender name when you receive the email. Sender's address. Your email address. Receiver. Name for who is receiving the email notification. Receiver's address. Email address where you want the email notification sent to. Enable Attach Picture Checked. Interval 2 seconds. Step 5. Once all the email settings are entered, click Apply at the bottom. Note, Gmail has another security step to go through. Some emails do not have this, so please check with your email provider. Step 6. Using a computer, go to www.gmail.com and log into your account. Step 7. Click on the top right icon, then click on My Account. Step 8. Click on Sign In and Security. Step 9. Once in the security options, scroll all the way down and turn on Allow Less Secure Apps under the Connected Apps and Sites section. Step 10. Then go back to the MVR's email settings. At the bottom, click on Test and you should get a Test Succeeded notification. If your test fails, please check all SMTP settings from your provider and make sure the password is correct. Step 11. The MVR will now send email notifications out from each channel that has motion detection enabled and the linkage action is set up for email notifications. Notes. If you want to check your linkage action settings, please see steps 5 and 6 in the motion detection section. The SMTP settings should be very similar to other email services, but stated in step 6, not all email services will have the allow less secure option or it can be called something different we can recommend contacting your email provider if you are having trouble finding this push notifications if you'd like to set up push notifications to your phone please follow these steps note push notifications will only work while you're using port forwarding if you are using our p2p service they will not push to your phone. Please contact your internet provider or router manufacturer for port forwarding instructions. Step 1. 
For push notifications to work, your motion detection settings should all be enabled and correctly set up. Please refer to the motion detection section for in-depth instructions. At step 6 in the motion detection section, make sure each channel has Notify Surveillance Center checked. This option is used for push notifications. Once this option is enabled for each channel and your motion detection settings are set up, we will move to the LeviewNet phone app. Step 2. Since we must use port forwarding, we will be adding your system via IP address. Tap the menu icon on the top right, then devices, and press a plus sign at the top right. Then choose manual adding. Step 3. Now enter the following information to add your NVR. Alias, remote view, register mode, IP slash domain, address, IP address shown under your IP at www.canyouseeme.org. Make sure you are at the DVR location for this step. Port 8000. Username admin. Password DVR password. Camera number. Updates after save on step 4. Step 4. Tap save on the top right corner when finished. Step 5. Once you save, click on the Start Live View option that will appear at the bottom. Step 6. Once you confirm that you can view your cameras, your NVR is successfully added via IP address. Now we will set up the push notifications. Step 7. Tap on the menu icon on the top left and go to Alarm. Then tap on Set Alarm Notification at the bottom. Step 8. Turn on the notification for the device needed. Step 9. When motion is detected, a notification will appear in the notification bar. Tap it to check on motion alarms. Step 10. Tap on the camera link icon to check the live view or the remote playback. This should cover the additional setup and mobile setup of your NVR. If you have any further questions, please contact us at support.levusecurity.com. Thanks for watching.